Welcome back, horror family. Stranger Things is one of those shows that hits with such a cultural impact we only witness the aura that its presence emanates once every few generations that may last across decades. It draws in viewers with a cohesive blend of nostalgia, horror, sci-fi, comedy, and action, an unquestionable gem. Beginning with the disappearance of Will in Season 1 to the deep exploration of the Upside Down in Season 2, it has developed narrative that runs deep in character development and plot structure, each of us picking our favorite and vehemently defending them even raging with anger if they die or there is the tiniest subtle hint they might be cut out of our lives. But what if the Upside Down and the Shadow Beast known as the Mind Flayer has their own connection to another sci-fi title, more specifically that in the video game world, an ancient biological entity known as Parasite Eve. The game Parasite Eve, which is a sequel to the Japanese novel of the same name, expands on the theory that mitochondria, also known as the powerhouse of our biological cells, are separate organisms and over millennia developed a symbiotic relationship with organic life. In the game and in the book, mitochondria have a dispersed body of intelligent conscious dubbed Eve, waiting throughout history of human development for the right conditions to achieve true potential in order to take over eucratic life, humans and other life forms. Eve is capable of controlling people's minds and bodies, spontaneously combusting each individual cell, creating a large goo monster of organic mass, with superior strength and speed. My theory is that L may be the perfect organism that Eve was specifically looking for in the novel as well as in the game but her body formed a mutual stasis with her mitochondria shielding her from being taken over by the mind flayer which I theorize is the mitochondrial parasite known as Eve possibly the perfect condition was L opening the door to the upside down releasing the mind flayer a primordial mitochondrial conscious awaiting for its time to connect back with its scion to establish dominance of our world at the beginning of Season 3, we witnessed thousands of rats acting irrationally and combusting into similar mitochondria monsters forming into one giant glob of a creature. Billy, when attacked by the monster in the building, was transported to the other side, a mitochondrial microverse from which Eve and cellular mitochondrion originate, his mind manipulated by the Eve parasite. The overheating of his skin is a similar example in the game. Individuals whose cells are being overpowered by their symbiotic organelles, which is why he needs to cover himself up in the sun and showed aggressive reaction to his entrapment in the sauna. Will, at the end of Season 1 and 2, developed the capability of going back to the Upside Down and feeling the presence of the Mind Flayer. I do not think he has an Eve mitochondria still in him, but maybe his mitochondria have developed a telepathic connection to their rebellious brethren, which gives Will a cellular connection to the Eve parasite and its microverse. Now, I know that there will be Stranger Thing defenders offended by my attempt to connect these two titles, who will immediately demand me to explain what the Demogorgon, Polywog, and other various beasts from the Upside Down are, according to my theory. Well, if the Upside Down is indeed a microverse from which our cellular symbiotes derive, then it is possible that in that universe they have the capability of collectively evolving into multicellular cellular organisms. What we may be seeing in our mitochondria are simple-celled organisms from their world, and these other creatures are advanced multi-celled organisms. Possibly at the beginning of cellular creation, a few of these mitochondria were able to insert themselves into the evolutionary process in this world, manipulated by the parasite Eve slash Mind Flayer. Over time, it awaited for complex life to evolve, as well as I said earlier, for the perfect conditions and the perfect creature for it to enter back into our realm to take over. I think it is interesting to consider there is a sinister plot over eons of evolution afoot, that our own bodies may be susceptible to the contamination of this parasite, and that a young girl accompanied by her tight-knit group of friends in a small town in Indiana may be our best defense against the cellular domination of our species. What do you think of my theory? Do you feel there is a fascinating connection between the show Stranger Things and the game Parasite Eve? Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Stay scared.